Hi, instructors. I'd like to walk you through how to use unknowns in the calorimetry lab. Once you've taught your students how to find specific heat or heat of solution, heat of combustion, heat of reaction, they can test what they've learned with an unknown using this unknown shelf here. So for example, for specific heat, you'd have them click for metals, return to stockroom. Now they have an unknown metal here. They don't know the identity. They could set up a whole calorimeter um, set up with the water and then put the heated block in, test it, and then they can report to you what they calculated. So they do that by clicking on the lab book button and then clicking report, entering the value they think that the heat capacity of their block has, whatever type of metal it is. So say that's their, their calculation, calculated guess, then they get their answer here. And so then they would submit this to you so they could could enter in any data they need here. This is from trial one. And then they would click file, save file, and save this onto their computer. So say, say I call this lab book one, save or replace my old one that I had on there. And then they can send it to you through your email program or your LMS, whatever you'd like. So then you can see what the actual value is, what their guess was for that metal. The next way that you can do unknowns in here is if you go, let me clear the shelf. If you go in and click unknowns, then they could use a salt to find the heat of solution. So there's an unknown created here, and they could then go back into the lab and find the heat of solution by adding this to some solution, measuring the change in temperature, and they would report that in the same way, clicking on the lab book, click report they would enter their tested or their calculated value here. So say they think it's 12, I'm just making up a value. Click submit. Once again, it reports the value to, the, to you and to them and what they thought it was. So that's the way they all work. All of these unknowns work in the same way. So then I have to clear the lab. They could go in and create any of these types of unknowns. Right, they could do a heat of combustion with the organic. Any of these calculations, the way they will report them to you is with this lab book. You can look at their values, see what they got, and use that for your assessment. We hope that helps.